Welcome to InfoPool's Data Analytics Bot Demo. Let me quickly describe what our bot is about and show you how it works. Our data analytics bot, built on Azure OpenAI GPT model, delivers on-demand analytics directly to the users. Users can submit text prompts and instantly receive an Excel file with relevant analytics, a text summary of the data, and a data visualization such as graphs and charts. Uh, this, demo is, uh, this demo of the bot is built on a medicine sales data set, which was anonymized for the purpose of the demo. So let me start with the first prompt. So in the uh, meantime, the bot is analyzing our prompt. It's generating the SQL. Uh, from the database, it connects to the database, execu executes the generated SQL to get the data, save the data to a file, and share the link to the file with us. Here is the link. Let me open it. And this is how our data looks like. So it's the sales trend of, of paracetamol. Let me go back to the bot. And now the bot is uh, sending the data to the Azure OpenAI GPT model to generate the summary of the, to, to generate this text summary of the data that we, that we saw in the Excel. And here we have the text summary that is just, uh, summary of, of the data generated by the SQL. Now the bot is generating the visuals uh, and uh, what is going on in the backend. The bot also sends the data to the uh, Azure OpenAI GPT model to discover the best type of the diagram to show the data. Then it sends another request to GPT to generate code for creating uh, such diagram. Then it ex then the code is executed. Uh, the image is generated. Uh, the image is saved into a file, and then this file is first of all shown in Teams, and second of all uh, sent to us uh, as a link. And here we have the chart and the file. Uh, for our question. Uh, in Teams, we can open this chart to look to have a closer look, and we can yeah, also using the link to the file, we can download the, the chart. So let's try a second question. Uh, about the bots, uh, a few more uh, important information and features. The bot is language agnostic, so uh, the bot uh, can accept questions in any language and answer in any language. Uh, the only uh, the only requirement here is to uh, follow the language of the database if the if the database has any specific language. So, for example, if we have uh, names like paracetamol in our database, uh, we have to uh, we have to stick to them so the SQL query is correct. Uh, also, the bot can be accessed via voice channel. So basically we can ask these questions that we are writing right now to the bot in voice and the bot will do exactly the same thing. So it will generate the summary and it will return the text of the summary also as a voice. So the bot will read this text, this generated text summary to us. Also, one important thing to uh, to add is that the bot is 100% secure and it's not storing any of the sensitive data that it's using to generate the results. So no, uh, so it's not saving the questions, it's not saving the data from the database that it's using. Uh, so it's 100% secure. So for the second question, we also have a data file. Uh, I can also open it. So here the second file is much is much smaller because our question uh, demanded this this kind of data. 
let me go back to bot. So we have uh, again, we have the text summary and we have the visualization that we can see. And that's all. Thank you for watching.